Hi guys, welcome to a drop spot. So in today's video, we are going to be interacting with Field Network. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install their wallet extension and you're going to visit wallet.field.network. Then tap on install field wallet. So when you tap on this, it takes you to their store on Chrome Web Store and from there you can install their wallet extension. So you are going to tap on add to Chrome. Tap on OK. So when your wallet is done downloading, you are going to set up your wallet. Do that by tapping on create new wallet. Agree to their terms of service. Check that agreement button right there. Then tap on next seed phrase and then you're going to write your seed phrase down somewhere safe. And once you are done doing that, you are done setting up your wallet. Now let's go to, let's open our wallet. So tap on that copy icon to copy your wallet and then go to the bottom and then tap on faucet. Okay, so here right there, if you cannot see your wallet address pasted in that box, you're going to paste the wallet address you just copied and then you tap on give me that. But make sure you check the capture box before tapping on give me it. And then you're going to receive 0.5 fill ETH on your fill wallet. So let's go back to the extension. Now you're going to use the send feature of the, of the wallet. Enter any fill wallet address and then enter the amount of ETH that you would like to send to them. If you don't have any extra wallet address you can use, you can drop it in the comment section or in the Telegram, channel, uh, Telegram group so that you can send to other members and they can send to you. So enter the amount of fill that you want to send to that address and then tap on confirm. Tap on approve. At the top of the screen right here, you can see the status of your transaction. It says successful. However, in my wallet address, I can still see the same balance that I have earlier. That is 0.5 ETH. So, Probably it will not go instantly, probably it will take some minutes, but then I can't wait. I have to move on to the next step. And then the next step, this is the latest transaction on Field Network right now. That is bridging. So we are going to head over to the bridging website and that is alpha.field.com network slash bridge so every link i used in this tutorial i'm going to have them pinned in the comment section for your convenience so we are at the bridging website now and you're going to be needing two wallets for this interaction you need your metamask and then your fill wallet so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to connect to your MetaMask. So tap on connect Ethereum wallet. So choose MetaMask. Enter your password and sign into your wallet. Tap on connect. Then switch network. I am previously on Polygon, so I have to switch to Sepolia ATH. And then next, you are going to connect with your fill wallet. So tap on Connect Fill Wallet. Tap on Next. And tap on Connect. 
Okay, so now make sure that your wallet is on Sepolia ETH. That is where you'll be transferring funds from. From The first thing we want to do is we want to make deposit. So if you don't have any Sepolia ETH, copy your wallet address and then come to sepoliaforset.com. So here you can get 0.5 Sepolia ETH every day to use for your testnet interaction. So paste your wallet address, your MetaMask wallet address, check the capture at the bottom and then tap on send me ETH. So almost instantly you are going to receive your 0.5 Sepolia ETH, then you can go back to the field bridging website. And if I refresh my screen now, you see that my funds have arrived. Okay, so I was having 0 0.1 Sepolia ETH before, but if you can see it now, you see I have 0 0.6. So enter the amount of um, Sepolia ETH you would like to bridge over to fill and then tap on deposit so you're going to confirm the interaction in your metamask However, I learned that if you want to deposit into fuel from Sepolia ETH, it can take up to 4 hours. So this part took a bit long some minutes, I had to pause and then come back. It says deposit successful, which means that my uh, deposit into fuel has been acknowledged by the blockchain. So I'm going to go back, although my wallet balance was still showing the same thing which means that the deposit is not yet completed on the blockchain but like i said earlier i learned it can take up to four hours for deposit to fail to be completed so you're going to move on to withdraw from fill remember that we claimed some fill tokens from the wallet earlier so you're going to be bridging that over to sepolia eth so indicate the amount of um, a fill that you want to send to sepolia eth my balance is still showing the same, which means none of the transactions I have done on the fill network have actually been successful, but they already indicated that it takes a while. So enter the amount of fill that you want to send to Sepolia. Then tap on withdraw. So if you read the notice at the bottom of that withdraw button, you would see that when you want to withdraw from field to Sepolia, it can take up to 6 hours. So to bridge over to field takes up to 4 hours and to withdraw back to Sepolia at the moment takes up to 6 hours. So after this video, I will come back after 6 hours and if there is any other thing that I need to show us, I'm going to take maybe screenshots and then share with us later. So just tap on approve and then confirm that in your fill wallet. So this is it, the part where I'm going to leave my screen. I'm just going to open another tab to move on to the next step. And I'll come back after six hours and check if there's anything I need to manually confirm or whatever. I'll come back after six hours. But for now, I'll move on to the next step. So I'll open up a new tab. So lastly, we are going to layer three. This part just needs about three steps to get it done. But first, you need to log into your layer 3 with your MetaMask. So tap on Next, tap on Connect, and then sign the message.
So the first part is um, your introduction to Phil. So tap on begin and it's just a brief introduction for you to know what Phil Wallet Network is all about. So once you are done with that, tap on continue. And then the second step is to bridge to fill. Remember we already did that earlier. So just hold on. It's going to count about 20 seconds downward. Just hold on until the timer is done. Then the continue button is going to be active. Now you can tap on verify. If your deposit has been successful earlier, then your verify is going to go through. But if the, your deposit has not been acknowledged by the blockchain, then it is not going to go through. And then the last step is to retweet their post, layer 3 post on Twitter. So I'm going to retweet the post, tap on repost, and then go back to layer 3, then tap on verify. So all three layer 3 tasks have been completed. You can decide to, you know, move on and then interact with other projects on layer 3 if you have the time. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, do drop me comments in the comment section. Subscribe for more so you don't miss out on future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.